farming was a new venture for us. You know, we've done everything to, to, to do with the outdoors, but, but farming. T and Tony Ray own and operate T&T Farms in Oldham County, Kentucky. T and Tony were looking for a quieter life on the farm. Although the farm was originally purchased by T's grandparents as an investment, it had not been managed in a sustainable manner. So when we picked our sign, we, we put our farm name, and underneath that we put conservation in progress. Just knowing all along the farm had been neglected for years and it just needed a lot of, a lot of cleaning up and getting it straight, straightened out. Having a lot to learn about farming, the Rays reached out to their local Cooperative Extension Office, Conservation District, and Natural Resources Conservation Service. They found help in the form of Master Cattlemen courses and information about conservation practices. And through that network, we got to, to meet a lot of people that were involved in conservation and raising cattle and farming and the right practices and trying to do the things right from the very beginning. We got involved with uh, people like Kurt Mason with NRCS and Kurt came out to the farm and gave us some ideas on what we could do and that's just how the, the process started on this thing. We did it all in phases. We started off with, with the small group of cows and a couple couple pastures and every year we'd figure out what we need to do and add on another pasture, put in another water, uh, put in heavy use pads for winter feeding, did some grazing <coughs> plans to, so that we didn't overgraze graze fields. The Rays took one project at a time and were able to utilize cost share programs to implement conservation practices. They developed a Kentucky Agriculture Water Quality Plan for the farm, which included practices such as heavy use area protection, rotational grazing, fencing streams, and alternative waterers. We're on the Lloyd's Fork watershed, and uh, and it, we're at the headwaters of it, and it's absolutely beautiful uh, along through there. Anything we can do to prevent uh, runoff, basically, whether it, whether it's topsoil or fertilizer or, or chemicals or anything, you know, we make every effort not for that to happen. We try to use what nature gives us and that's a lot of manure. And uh, and so by the cows, you know, putting their manure back down and then our winter feeding pad, we, we save our manure and then spread it on our field for fertilizer. T and Tony's 130 acre farm is situated in the headwaters of the Floyd's Fork watershed. By practicing sound nutrient management and utilizing manure effectively, they ensure protection of water quality in the Floyd's Fork. Buffer zones also protect stream banks from erosion and provide additional protection to the waterway. Using nature's resources to help save you money and everything that you do, and you know, we've got to take care of this earth. Um, and, and, and if you take care of the earth, it'll take care of you. The Rays have utilized federal, state, and local cost share programs to implement practices that made sense for their farming operation while also protecting their land and water for generations to come. To learn more about developing and implementing a Kentucky Agriculture Water Quality Plan for your farm, contact your local conservation district, Cooperative Extension Service office, or visit our website.